episode 11 of uh, Let's Go Pogo and for this episode I'm going to be focusing on the Premier Cup. So the Premier Cup is a new cup introduced into Go Battle League um, and basically what it does is removes all legendaries from, um, from the uh, the pool you can pick from, um, which shakes up the meta just that little bit, and I really like it. Um, you'll see from these battles, I don't think it shakes it up enough, um, but um, we, we, we'll go into it. And there's some very obvious uh, ones you want in there. Now, going up against Narat here, thank you for the good game. Um, so I'm leading with Togekiss against their Dragonite, the most perfect lead, so of course they're going to swap. Now, I'm getting ready to soak up this Body Slam from Snorlax into my uh, Magnetron, um, uh, which you see, it does very little. But the problem with Snorlax is it's bulky and it's spammy. So it's big and it can just keep throwing stuff at you. I was not expecting a superpower. Uh, who runs superpower on Snorlax? I was expecting uh, a, a, an earthquake, which I knew wouldn't be there that quick. So back into this here, th th this is a battle. Now I'm getting laggy there. And I wouldn't have thrown this move if it wasn't for that lag. Um, and this really just put me at a disadvantage. And this is what I'm coming across all of the time, Metagross. Metagross is everywhere. Now on paper, this is not a good matchup. But I found in practice that actually Bullet, bullet Punch doesn't do anything. Um, so you can actually get to lots of charge moves. Um, I should have shielded that first one off and made this game much harder than it should have been. So they take me out. And now I'm in a weak position because Togekiss against Metagross is not a good matchup. But uh, I've got two shields, and you see I've just used the one there. Now, just by that lag again, I think has come back to bite me because if I hadn't got that initial lag, I would have been grand. Um, now, this is going to do nothing. Dragon Claw just scratches the surface. I'm not sure why I'm throwing the uh, Ancient Power so quick because. Um, yeah, I could have hung on to that. But as you see, win that game, GG's. Um, really enjoyed that cl bat close battle. Uh, very close. Um, and I think it wouldn't have been as close without that lag. Um, but, you know, that's go battle league for you. Now, this on paper is uh, a, a good a good lead. I've got to be careful. that the, As long as this is a crunch, I'm okay. And I think it is. So, there we go, crunch. It's not doing too much. And again, being hit by lag, I really am suffering with it at the moment. Um, this is going to be crunch again, it's going to do nothing, um, so I've got the lead uh, and I've also um, uh, got two shields compared to their one. I'm uh, going to chuck the flamethrower um, and bring in Dragonite again on paper, terrible matchup. In reality, this is okay, like this is not a terrible, terrible matchup. Over farming just a little bit, uh, want them to think I might be doing something else. Um, but no, there we go again, another Dragon Claw off. And Dragon Claw is so spammy and quick that you can get away with it. Um, now, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm going to chuck Togekiss in here just to soak up this damage. Like, take the hit, um, get rid of that. And then Magnetron is going to come in and just farm down, get a little bit of a lead on energy. Now, here, I misplay this one. Um, and I could win this really easily, but I actually make it much harder than it needs to be. I could have let that come through. Now I'm chucking the flash cannon to get their final shield, which is it's definitely going to bait that shield out. Now what I should have done is I should have gone up to a second um, wild charge. Uh, because of that debuff on myself, I'm making it harder. Um, they could have chucked that at me, and I could have just kind of carried on and then chucked it afterwards. But their dragon breaths are really doing damage to me. Um, when uh, my uh, defences have dropped so so harshly, I love the word, your defence have harshly dropped. But again, GG's, thank you for that one. Uh, this is HR Marcus 9 coming up now, um, and leading with a toe kit, like perfect lead. He, like They, they want to get out of there, I, I'm not even sure why they're throwing. So in comes Metagross, and I'm going for the, the only answer I really have to it, because the problem with um, Metagross uh, against Magnetron is Earthquake will one-shot it. Um, and I don't really want to put it in that, that front. I've really struggled with an answer to Metagross, uh, and I've actually powered one up now of my own. So I have um, a 13, 15, 15 uh, Metagross, and I've used my um, Elite Charge TM um, to put Meteor Mash on it as well. So uh, I, if you can't beat them, join them, I think is the, is the same. So, uh, feeling strong about this one now, get another shield, so we're both shieldless, we've both got three Pokemon, 
Uh, Rock Slide got to come in here and do some super effective, but I've got Toby Kiss answer for that just to farm down, get a little bit of a lead on energy. So we'd enter the last Pokemon for them, and it's Tyranitar. This is perfect. Life is good. Um, feeling very confident at this point. Thought Ancient Pair might do a little more, but it didn't, but just very, very close. Nearly took them out with all three Pokemon in the line still. Uh, oh no, I didn't because I only had the two, but then they back in. Good game. Thank you very much for that game. Um, another another great one. So this time we're going to be going up against King Mambo 45. And um, not a great lead for me. I need to get out of there. I don't want rocks nearby. I'm thinking about what to do. Um, put Magnetron in. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to behave. I, I like, uh, yeah, Surf is going to do um, not... not quite a bit of damage to me, a bit of neutral damage, um, so not wanting to debuff myself, uh, chucking the flash cannon, it goes through and it does really well, I was super surprised. Now I'm faced with the Metagross, um, I'm coming towards the end of my life anyway, and they let it through, that is such a surprise, get to another wild charge, um, this is perfect, grab a shield, yep, yeah, they're going to take me out now, I, I, Magnetron's work here is done, um, and then we're going back to our trusty Dragonite. Going to farm up, hopefully get to the Dragon Claw before them. I, now I tried to farm down completely and I got greedy. Um, you can see it was close, um, but I had to use my last shield on that and then good game. Um, <clears throat> so I believe on this next game I don't do it play it as well. Bertie Nash, well done. I think you outplayed me on this one if I remember correctly. So not a great lead for me. Need to get out of there. You know where I'm going. I'm going to drag. Oh no, I'm going to Magnetron for some reason. Okay. They bring out Swampert. Uh, haven't seen too many Swamperts, but that water is gonna it's not gonna go well, is it? So chucking the wild charge, uh, hoping to do as much damage as I can and I let it through. Not very effective, but I've got that second wild charge lined up, so I can just keep going with them. They get a shield out of them too, so this is not terrible, um, but it's time to get Magnetron out of there. Um, and I'm going to bring in Togekiss. Now, with shields, this is okay. I can take, I think, three uh, Hydra Cannons before it will knock me out. Um, uh, but they go into the Metagross. Um, I'm going to have to shield this. I, I do not want Meteor Mash hitting uh, Togekiss. And out comes Dragonite again, and Dragon Claw in. And I'm not sure why I'm over farming there. I I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make a massive difference, but um, yeah, I'm, I, I really just throw the, throw the... There's no reason not to throw it. Can I get to another Dragon Claw? I do get to another Dragon Claw. That's pretty key. Um, wipe out that Metagross. And now they've got a shield still, so I need to be wary of that. And they've got a Togekiss. So my only answer to Togekiss is Togekiss. Um, I, I, my Dragonite is just going to get wiped out with this Togekiss there. Best buddy one as well, well done. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was my five sets. Pretty close. Um, I think I could have, I could have played that last one better. Um, I didn't play it as well as I, I, I believe I can. Um, but I feel my PvP is kind of growing. My, my confidence in what people are going to throw at me and what I can throw at them. Is good. The Dragonite one is a perfect example where I found the Dragonite, it can deal with Metagross. Um, I've just shown you there my how many wins and uh, losses I've got in season two. Um, I tend to run around about 50%. I tend to cap out at around about 2100 um, and uh, kind of a score on there. Um, yeah, you know, I need to get better. Um, Thank you for joining me and why don't you all get out there and go Pogo.